what's good people tunji again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials okay so i want to welcome you to my how to use background series and without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial okay so this was the design sent to me by one of my group members i want to appreciate you guys for posting your designs for me to redesign for you and i am going to say why i think it's not successful so let's go straight to my slide all right so one of the things i noticed on this design is the purpose the purpose of the design is missing all right when you're asked to work on designs like this always have it in mind that what you need to do must be more exciting you know it should have this exciting look this feel that make it look like yes people will be entertained with it when they come for the event the other thing i realized again is the using of italics i realized that you use the italics from the beginning to the end of the project and this is not professional right most time when we use italics like this is that we are trying to let people understand that the information on the artwork are not really important every information on this design are very very critical they are very important and i would have advised that even if you're going to use italics you can use it on the title all right because most time when i'm trying to create this exciting look on my design i always like to play with the you know title to make it look bend or you know just to play around with it to make it make people know that yes this event is going to be more interesting but making everything um italics or bending everything on your uh, project is not going is not going to make it look professional one other thing i noticed again is um using a wrong image the image you use here does not really show the musical concert all right because so this microphone is mostly using um clubs or studios and so that's the reason why i think it's not successful on this design and then i realized now here that the spaces are not balanced the space between the address and time is different from the inquiries all right and i think you need to always work on that if you are using any space make sure the same space you have here should go with what you're going to put here also all right so i noticed that also my advice for you is when you're working on any project try as much as possible not to hate yourself all right i would advise you check out designs similar to um, the project you're working on for this type of project if i'm going to ask you to check any ad any design that is closer to this i would advise you check out album arts all right you know most of all these album arts always have this um concert kind of feel or you look at um artwork that shows award nights all those all those type of designs they are all in the same group with this um type of project so i would advise you always do that before um, working on any project always try as much as possible to check out designs that are similar to the project you're working on so you can pick one or two things from it and then add it to your project and my advice for you again is that don't steal from one project pick from three or four projects so that people won't notice where you get the source from when you're working on a project always try as much as possible to do that all right so for this project i'm going to be using the split complementary color harmony and the application we're going to be using are adobe photoshop and i'll also be using illustrator this is the design brief so the whole idea is to you know do an e-flyer with the intent to invite every christians both young and old to this musical concert so you need to make this look more religious a little bit and then make it you know friendly and more fun so let's go straight to the tutorial then i'll be creating a new document now so i'll click on file and select new and for this project i'm going to be using a 780 by 780 and i'll call this um and i'll hit ok then i'm going to bring in the image of um my character which is the exercise file for this project so i'm going to drag that and drop here now notice i didn't drop on the project i drop I drag and drop it here so as to be able to crop it out from the background so I'm going to zoom in.
Okay, so I'm going to hit Control Enter to create the macro selection of that um, guy with the guitar. Make a copy of the um, the layer. So I'm going to hit the Control J on my keyboard. So I have the um, guy with the guitar copper from the background. Then we need to take the two layers the way it is now to the project that we're working on. So I'm just going to shift select the background layer, select my move tool, and I'm going to drag and drop in my project like so. Now I'm going to convert this to a smart object so as to not to lose the quality of the layer when I'm reducing or increasing the size. So I'm going to right click now and convert this to smart object. I'll do the same thing for. Okay, let's just give it a name. BG. So I'm just gonna copy. Okay, that's it. So I'm just gonna right click now. Convert this to smart object. So I'm gonna hit the Control T on my keyboard or my T for Mac users, and I'm gonna scale this down. So I'm going to create a layer in between the two layers and I'll call this, I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to select the brush too, OK, and I'll select the brush setting here. So the brush we are going to be using on this project is going to be the um, cloud brush. But I'm going to put a link where you can get the brush on the description section here. And I'm going to select any of the brush here, all right? And I'm going to um, move my angle to 43 is fine. Why I change the angle is so that when, I, when I'm applying the brush, Photoshop will randomly create different angle of the brush for me. So I'm going to reduce the size of the brush by going back to the brush tip shape and close the spacing to the size of the brush. Let's just see. I'm trying to see the best brush I can use here, so I'm just going to select. Um, let's see what this look like. Nope. Let's see what this look like. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to reduce the size of the brush, and I'm going to just pick a color with Alt, Hold Down, or Option, and I'll pick a color from here. All right. And what I'm just trying to do is trying to create a profile of the of the smoke effect, okay? So because we're still going to change the color to the color that will go with the color and money we're using for this project. So I'm just going to click like so. Now you see now the reason why I'm having that random rotation of uh, my brush is because of the adjustment we made here. Next, I'm going to pick a darker shade again, and I'm just going to brush. Okay, so. The reason why I decided to still use the uh, the background of the character is because I still want to have some effect from that background on the project. So as it is, I've covered it, covered the part that I want visible on the project. So I'm going to take that out by um, going to the layer of the smoke, and I'll select the eraser tool. Go to my brush setting. Choose any of them, the cloud brush again. I'm going to use the same one I used previously. So I'm just going to reduce the size of my brush. Now I'll go back to my brush tool again, the size of my brush, and I'm just going to brush. Alright, so this is nice. And the next thing I'm going to do is to create a gradient adjustment. Select the um, gradient icon here. So I'll click here now to change the color of the gradient. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click here, click on the color. Alright. And I'll change this to FF4B8 and I'll say OK. So for this one, just going to click here and change this to FECC7. OK? FE, if there should be triple C, should be triple C. So I'm going to add one more C here and I'm going to say OK. I'll say OK like so. So the next thing we are going to do is to make a copy of this and make this be above all the layers. And I want this to apply to just only the guy with the guitar. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on this icon to say I only want it to apply to the layer of the guitar guy. So the next thing we are doing is to blend in the layer of the gradient adjustment. So I'm just going to double click here. Alright. And I'll change this to color. Yes. 
and this should go this way and i'll hold on alt and break the wheel like so like so and i'll say okay next is to select the brush tool Let's click on the layer max of the gradient adjustment and i'll go to the brush tip shape change my brush to soft on brush so i'm going to change this back to something around six and i'm just going to brush like so select the layer of the character and select hue adjustment and this time i'm gonna click on this icon here and just you know pick the color from his outfit and i'll push this down the next thing i'm going to do is to add more smoke all right so i'm just gonna click ok go to my brush setting again and i'll click on this reduce the size of my brush i would not alt and click So the next thing I'm going to do again is to click on Alt and call this red smoke. Click on the foreground color. I'm going to come here and change this to D4 to F31. And I'll say OK. And my flow needs to go back to 100. And I'm going to hold on Alt again and I'll click OK. I'll come here again. I'm going to change this to F2B940 and I'll hit OK. go to the adjustment panel again and click on heal and you know add more strength to the color by increasing the saturation but it's affecting every part of my project which is not part of the plan so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the gradient to here so i'm going to drag click drag from here and drop like so and i'm going to click again to call this black create any layer to call it black smoke and this one should be darker so that, uh, this color is fine adjustments um, panel again i'm bringing the curve adjustment and i'm just going to drag this down i'm going to hit the control i on my keyboard select the brush tool make sure you're you're on the um layer max of the curve adjustment now make sure your foreground is set to white and i'm going to reduce strength of my float i'm going to hold on alt and i'll hold i'm going to hit um, I'm going to change this to soft light. Check the fill with soft light neutral color box. And I'm going to say OK. Then I'll go to filter, noise, add noise. And I'm just going to say OK. We put this in a group. All right. So I'm going to shift select the layers and I'll hit the control G on my keyboard and call this. I'm going to stand visible of all the layers by holding down Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E. The future, go to camera. Run. Then I'm going to just say OK. Then I'm going to make a copy of this layer again now. I'll go to future. And I'll select the future gallery. So I'm going to select the paint dub. My brush size is going to be one, while my sharpen is going to be three. I'm going to say OK. So next is to reduce the opacity of that layer. So what I'm trying to do is to add more depth to the effect. All right. So, so the effect here. I think I need to brighten this a little bit. So I'm just going to select the brightness adjustment here, and I'm just going to increase that just a little bit. So I'm just going to go straight to Illustrator here, and I'm going to just copy the title. The of the event and i'll go to the photoshop so i'll paste it with ctrl v and hit ctrl t on my keyboard so if your um team is not showing white don't worry we are going to change the color very soon so select skill push this up and push this this way let's push this down Select these two from here, from here, and pick a color from the outfit of the character and hit OK. So I'll create a new layer and call this a lip. 
I'm gonna draw in a loose shape. So I'm holding on shift on my keyboard. So you see it, draw a shape right there. And I'll go straight to the layer of the guitar dude and hold on control to create a marquee selection of the character because we want to be able to cut out the shape of the character from the team. So I'm just going to hold on control and click to create a marquee selection and I'll go scroll up to the title of the artwork and I'll click the add layer max button here. So I'm going to hit control I now you see I have the shape of my character cut out from the title of the artwork. I'm going to put my other information on the artwork. All right. So I so I have added all my information on the artwork. So I did the same effect I did with the title with this information here. All right. So I'm using Bebas for the font. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And remember to hit the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. Okay. Please, if there's anything you were able to achieve with the help of this tutorial, kindly post it on your Instagram page and tag me. All right, my Instagram handle is right here on the screen. And remember to use hashtag Caesar Graphics. I'll see you guys again in my next tutorial. Peace.